I said blow bar. Damn. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. It's time for another hair product review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Hot Toddy Heat and UV Protectant from Dry Bar. So this retails for $30. I got it on Alta's website months ago. I did use it on my hair. You're looking at two to three day old hair. I did straighten it for an important event and I did use this. So it's supposed to protect your hair from heat up to 450 degrees, which I definitely use, and UVA, UVB exposure, uh, preventing damage and color fading, and it helps the appearance of split ends, which I'm glad it said that instead of it's saying like it heals your split ends or it fixes your split ends because once your hair is split there's nothing you can do other than using products that kind of stick it together again um, or just getting a trim and I have a lot of split ends so I don't know how well this as a heat protector really works because I did get significant amount of split ends after using my straightener but that's something that I always expect so I do use heat stylers or heat protectants but I always go I use them with a grain of salt I don't always believe in them does that make sense like it's just it's just hard to believe that a product can fully prevent or significantly protect my hair from the heat. Though I did enjoy this because it does give my hair a good amount of shine and it does help seal those split ends so that they're not as obvious on the hair shaft, um, which I think is great and it's useful for me. Would I repurchase this again? Probably not, just because I wanna keep trying out other heat protectants. Um, so if you have any recommendations, let me know down below. But yeah, this is a white cream. You just apply it onto damp hair and then you start blow drying or straightening. I think I've heard from the owners, like from dry bar itself, that the spray version is better for using it with a straight iron, whereas this one is better using it with a blow dryer in terms of the heat. I don't know if that's true or not. I think I saw that on a Q&A on their Instagram one time. But I have used this with blow drying my hair as well as straightening it with a straightening iron, which is generally the method that I choose for straightening my hair. I did see a couple of split ends here and there after styling my hair, which again, happens all the time no matter what heat protectant I use. But I did notice the appearance of shinier hair. It was a lot straighter than normal it, was, it cuts down on the frizz which is great I will say sometimes if I put a little bit too much it does make my hair a little bit sticky and I have to make sure to go in with my blow dryer a little faster than normal um, less is more with this product you definitely don't need a lot this is not the type of product that I should be over applying which sometimes if you're new to this channel I do often I over apply products all the time because I'm just heavy-handed but with this one I have to definitely be careful because if I'm heavy-handed with it it's gonna get a little bit sticky or it's gonna weigh down my hair just a little bit and that just obviously is not ideal I will say there is one like hair primer slash hair protector that I really loved and I almost don't want to mention it because I'm pretty sure it's discontinued but it was from Not Your Mother's and it was amazing it I feel like it protected my hair but more importantly or like a side effect that I didn't expect. It made it made my blowout or like my straightening last longer. Um, I can make a blowout last like four or five days, maybe longer if I'm really careful. But honestly, by day four, I'm ready to wash my hair and bring back my curls or just do the process all over again. So that product, that primer slash heat protectant was so amazing and I still have some. Again, it could get really sticky, sticky just like this one. But for some reason, it made my hair last so much longer. Like it didn't weigh it down in any way. Um, and that was really nice. I'm just mentioning it now in case you do find it in stores. It's from Not Your Mother's. It has like an apple scent, really weird. That's pretty much how I feel about this. Um, I enjoy it, but I'm always on the hunt for better heat protectants. Like I've tried the Tresemme one. I've tried like a Suave one or a Dove one. So if you have any recommendations, I mean, I was looking at the reviews for this because there's either people who really love it or really hate it, like with anything. Um, some people were mentioning like there's a Bumble and Bumble one that they really love or there's just other ones out there that are better. Um, in terms of Blow Bar, I like their products. It has a nice scent. I was checking reviews for the Dry Bar one, this one, the Hot Toddy, and some people said that this has the signature Dry Bar scent. So if you like the Dry Bar scent, um, like if you've gone to the stores, I've never been to any of these stores or anything. I know there's some in Manhattan. I've never actually gone in there, but Apparently it has that signature scent. So, and if you love how your hair smells when you visit those salons, then this has that same smell, which is nice. It's very pleasant. It's not like 
super in your face. I don't know, I feel like salon products tend to smell a lot better than drugstore, I'm not gonna lie, but that price tag, I'm not always a fan of. I got this one, it was on sale. Um, when Ulta does it, it was 20% off prestige and all that stuff. So I definitely recommend picking it up on sale just in case you don't like it. But anyway, now I'm getting rambly. I've been trying to extend my videos so that they're a little bit longer than the traditional three to five minutes, but it's been really hard because I just like to talk really fast and then I'm left with a really short video. And then YouTube's algorithm doesn't favor videos that short short so I'm just sitting here trying to think of anything else that I want to tell you but I can't think of anything so if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching I really really appreciate it I will have my social media links down below but it's funny Janie on Twitter and on Instagram I usually have like a little annotation slidey thing that comes out here but I'm having issues with my plugins ever since Final Cut Pro had an update so I'm gonna have to contact customer service to get that fixed and I have my second channel Cosmic Bunny where I upload at least once a week um, so you can definitely check that out down below as well and thank you so much I really appreciate your support and until next time bye. I think I read in some review that this has the signature set of like blow bar product I said blow bar damn I've been I said blow bar for a while and I'm not sure how far back I've been saying it sorry if I said that and you caught it um, this